Hi everyone, welcome to this video on getting started with the tree map component of Syncfusion in a Blazor WebAssembly application. In this video, I will explain how to create a Blazor application and add the Syncfusion Blazor package. Then I will show you how to add the Syncfusion Blazor tree map component to the Blazor WebAssembly application. After creating the tree map component, I will explain how to enable leaf labels, color mapping, legends, and titles. To explore all the features of the tree map component, visit our website link provided in the above YouTube card. You can create a Blazor application using either Visual Studio 2019 or Visual Studio Code. In this video, I will create a Blazor WebAssembly application using Visual Studio 2019. I have installed .NET Core SDK 3.1.3. To follow along with this video, one should have a basic understanding of c -Shop, HTML and CSS. You can also watch a descriptive video on Blazor and Syncfusion controls titled Create a Blazor WebAssembly app and add Syncfusion Blazor components which I have shared in the YouTube card. Using Visual Studio 2019, I create a new project. I select the Blazor app template provide the project name as my blazor app and click create i select the blazor webassembly app template and i proceed by clicking the create button now visual studio has generated a blazor webassembly application to use syncfusion blazor components i need to install the syncfusion blazor nuget package in my application to do that i open the nuget package manager by right clicking the project file and selecting manage nuget packages under the Browse tab, I search for the Syncfusion Blazor package. I select it and click the Install button. The installation is completed now. You can check the Dependencies folder and the Packages folder and you will find the Syncfusion Blazor package added to this application. Next, the Syncfusion Blazor service must be registered in the Services collection. For that, I open the Program.cs file and use the Syncfusion Blazor namespace. Within the main method, I make a call to the add Syncfusion Blazor method. This makes Syncfusion Blazor services available within the application. Next, I must register a valid Syncfusion license key. To do so, in the first line of the main method, I call the Syncfusion licensing Syncfusion license provider class static method register license. You also need to pass your Syncfusion license key as a string parameter in the register license method. I have done this off string. Within the root folder, open the index.html file. Within the head tag, add the required CSS file to render the Syncfusion Blazor components. In this example, I refer the CSS file from the installed Syncfusion Blazor package. Now, let me add the Syncfusion Blazor tree map in the index component. I use the Syncfusion Blazor tree map namespace to access the Syncfusion Blazor tree map component. Adding this namespace here will allow me to use the component markups. Also, I can import this namespace in the imports.razor page to make it available in all the razor components within this application. I remove the existing code and type a SF tree map tag. As the tree map will not be visible if it has no data in it, I will create a country-wise GDP data source for the tree map in Chishar. Since this is a razor file, I use the code directive. I create public class country and add properties name and GDP with their respective types. I create a private list of country variable name growth report and assign a new list of country and within it, I add items to the list object. In the SF tree map tag, I set the data source to the growth report list object that I had already created. Since the data source property is of generic type, I need to provide the type of the data source object to the tree map. To do so, I set the property t value and assign the type as country. Now the tree map considers its data source type as country. I add the weight value path property with the value GDP so that the tree map can calculate tree map items. I save the file and run the application. You can see the tree map with leaves and the values displayed on each leaf node. I can customize the labels to display the names of the countries instead of the GDP values. If I change the label alone, 
The tree map still populates its weight value based on the GDP. To display the name within the tree map tag, I add the tree map leaf item settings tag and add the label path property and assign the name field. Now I save the file and run the application. You can see the tree map with leaf values displaying the name as labels. Now I will show you how to customize the color of the tree map leaves based on the underlying data. First, I need to provide the range values along with the colors. Let me show you how to achieve it using code. In the tree map leaf item settings tag, I add the tree map leaf color mapping tag. Then I add one or more tree map leaf color mapping tags. Since I am going to show two ranges, I add two tree map leaf color mapping tags. In the first tag, I set the range using the from property and set the value to 1. And for the two property, I set the value to 3000. I add the color property and set the value to orange. In the same way, I add the second range and set the color to green. Next, I need to map the tree map with a field name from which these ranges should be taken. So, in the SF tree map tag, I add the property range color value path and set its value to GDP as it holds the weighted values. I save the file and run the application. You can see the tree map with two color ranges based on the given values 1 to 3000 in orange and 3000 to 20,000 in green. Next, I will show you how to show the legend in a tree map. Within the SF tree map tag, I add the tree map legend settings tag and set the visible property to true. I save the file and run the application. You can see the tree map with the legend two color ranges 1 to 3000 in orange and 3000 to 20,000 in green. You can also add a title to the tree map. To do so, in the SF tree map tag, I add the tree map title settings tag and set the text property with the value. I save the file and run the application. You can see the tree map with the title Top 10 Countries by Nominal GDP 2015. If you need more information about the Syncfusion Blazor tree map component, you can refer to our online documentation. A link is provided in the description of this video. Finally, let me summarize the main points. I have explained the steps to create a Blazor application and add the Syncfusion Blazor package. Then I showed you how to add the Syncfusion Blazor tree map component to the Blazor WebAssembly application. Finally, I explain how to enable leaf labels, color mapping, legends, and titles. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. You can also see about getting a free license key to use our Blazor products if you are eligible for our community license. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.